okay so uh, good, good, good evening sir so we are group 17 and these are the members of our group rajiv kumar sanjura suresh patro and sukunna Boshak. now our topic is supply chain management system and in short scm now myself suresh patro rule number 115001194 and i will be starting the presentation first of all in the presentation we have to know what supply chain management actually is you see sir supply chain management is like uh, the handling of the entire production flow of a good or a service starting from the raw components all the way to delivering the final product to the consumer now it may look very much similar to the logistics but there are some certain differences between logistics and supply chain management you see lo logistics are activity in supply chain management and scm covers a variety of activities including the production and also the inventory planning and scm works towards much more like uh, improving the process to create a competitive advantage whereas logistics is much more like uh, basically the customer needs and the expectations now in this slide you will see why scm actually is important you see sir uh, it is very much well known that supply chain management is very much essential and it's an integral part to any business or any kind of firm now it because it can uh, boost the customer service because you see a customer expect the correct product uh, also the, uh, they also look after the quality and the quantity of the product now with a well-structured SCM, this all can can be done very easily. It can uh, reduce the operation cost by decreasing the purchasing cost, by decreasing the production cost, and by decreasing both, we can also decrease the total supply chain cost as well. It improves the financial position of the firm. It increases the uh, profit leverage. Like you see, uh, firms value supply chain managers, managers because uh, they help control and reduce the supply chain cost. It can dramatically increase any kind any firm's profits. It also decreases the fixed assets and most importantly it can increase the cash flow which is very much important and beneficial for any company. Next in this slide you will see the evolution of SCM. In this slide we have a diagram which explains the total evolution of SCM from 1960s to 2010s. Now uh, the evolution of supply chain management has been like characterized by increasing integration of separate tasks. It was basically in the 1960s where, where all the tasks are very much uh, fragmented with, with each other. In later decade, it also changed when they initially consolidated into two distinct functions, which are material management and physical distribution. And that process moved further in the 1990s when globalization and the functional integration happened, and also the emergence of logistics got their true sense, a uh, new sense. More recently, the growing level of uh, automation of supply chain has been dominant element in the evolution of both physical distribution and material management. The digitalizations uh, in uh, particular no, no notable with the distribution centers that has experienced a remarkable push towards automation such as storage, materials, handling and packaging. Now the next slide will be explained by my group member Rajiv. Hello everyone, I am Rajiv Kumar. I will discuss about the topic five parts of SCM that is supply chain management. As earlier discussed, supply chain management is, it is the management of flow of goods, data, and fi finance related to the product or services. And it plays a huge significance in running key operations for almost every or organization. So supply chain managers are given the responsibility to ensure to ensure that supply chain is efficient and cost effective effective both. To be supply chain effective and co efficient and co cost effective, there are five, five basic mechanisms are followed. First one is that is plan. It is the a st a strategic part of the supply chain management process in which a CM manager should identify a list of key components like plant location, size, warehouse designing, <coughs> delivery models, IT, solution selection, etc. And the second one is source. At this stage of supply chain management, supply chain management manager find the find the reliable, reliable customers to supply the raw materials. Third one is execute. This is the stage where well-designed processes are implemented so that a perceivable shape is given to existing plants in the form of manufactured product which are ready for testing, packaging and delivery. Fourth one is deliver. In supply chain when reaches this stage, 
the manager have a task at hand to deliver the product or service in the right quantity at at the right place and right time by employing suitable carriers fifth fifth one that is return return handling is the last step of the supply chain management process it is it, is, it only involves reviewing return product for quality purposes but also managing their inventory at the ground level supply chain managers should deploy their resources and support them with techn technology for faster pickups next slide will explain by sukanya thank you rajiv um, good evening sir i will explain the uh, six types of scm scm model first of all the continuous flow this is the one of the most traditional models on the list this model is the best choice for industries and uh, businesses that operate with stability second one the first chain first chain model is one of the new names in supply chain strategies this is suitable for businesses that have uh, product lines with short life, life cycles for instance a fashion designer might have a, a specific lines of design in a uh, session third one the efficient chain the efficient chain model has been crafted for hyper competitive industries uh, in this model the end goal is to maximize efficiency fourth one is the agile agile models is well suited for businesses dealing and specialty uh, items where products may require extra care in the supply chain fifth one is the custom configured custom uh, configured model needs that uh, custom setups in the assembly and uh, production stages it is the mix of agile and continuous flow methods where the, the products uh, that is being manufactured may require some extra customizations last one is the flexible flexible model can handle uh, high demand during peak season uh, and uh, quickly adjust to a lean period or more demand to run a flexible model efficiency a business requires that the right supply chain management software and the right people with the knowledge base that operate a flexible model with the high efficiency next part we'll discuss my other group members thank you sir hello everyone i am sanjur rai uh, i will discuss the key features of csm uh, firstly connected being able to access unstructured data from social media structured data from internet of things and more additional data set available through traditional erp and b2b integration tools uh, secondly collaborative improving collaboration with suppliers increasingly means the use of cloud based commerce network to enable multi enterprise collaboration and engagement uh, then cyber aware the supply chain must be harden its system and protect them from cyber infrastructure and hacks which should be an enterprise wide concern uh, then cognitively enabled the ai platform becomes the modern supply chains control tower by collecting coordinating and conducting decisions and action across the chain most of the supply chain is automated and self learning and lastly comprehensive analytics capabilities must be scaled with data in real time insight will be comprehensive and fast latency in unacceptable in the supply chain of the future uh, thank you sir other parts will be discussed by sayuj okay so sir now we will see two case studies our, our first case study is about intel now uh, see uh, on the world's largest manufacturer company being one of the world's largest manufacturing company intel is very little production How, however uh, in the initial phase of this company the company need, needed to reduce the supply chain expenditure significantly after bringing their uh, low cost item chip to the market to reduce that intel decided to try what was considered very much unlikely for any kind of supply chain strategy for for the uh, semiconductor industry which is no, known as make to order the company began with a pilot operation using a manufacturer in malaysia uh, through a process of iteration they gradually sorted out and eliminated all the supply chain inefficiencies to reduce their order cycle and incrementally 
they cut down the chief assembly case to endure from uh, five days to five days scheduled to a bi-weekly or two day long process. They introduced the formal SNOP planning process and they also moved to a vendor managed inventory model, uh, however, just possible. Through this incremental approach to a cycle time imp improvement, uh, Intel eventually drove the order cycle time to of the, of the uh, item chip down to nine weeks from just two. As a result, the company achieved the supply chain cost re re reduction of more than four dollars per, per unit, which is very much beneficial at that time for the company. Our next uh, case study will be about uh, Starbucks. Just like India, Starbucks is also a very new company among us. Now, Starbucks now. Uh, when uh, the supply chain executive uh, began, execute, began uh, uh, ex examining the whole uh, supply chain of the co company, the team began investigating and they found out that the rising cost of the supply chain per performing issue and they found out that the service was indeed falling short of the expectations. There, there was fewer than 50% of the outlet deliveries were arriving on time. Several poor outsourcing decisions had led to very excessive expenses and the supply chain was very much unnecessarily co complex. So Starbucks leadership had three main objectives in their mind to achieve the improved performance and supply chain cost reduction. These are recognize the supply chain to reduce the cost to, cost to serve and lay down a proper groundwork for the, fu for the future capability of the company. To meet this objective, Starbucks divided their whole supply chain functions into three main groups which is known as plan, make and deliver. It also opened a new production facilities almost uh, all the countries it was serving at that time. By the time Starbucks had completed its transform transformation program, it had saved more than like $500 million over the course of 2009-2010 of which a large proportion came out of the supply chain itself. So that was uh, all about the introduction to the same. Uh, we discussed about the importance of evolution types and its parts as well. We also saw uh, two case studies in this whole PPT. Now, if, if we see, uh, there are noises, not whatever. Uh, uh, now, if, if we see, sir, over the time with the changing demand and uh, the changing uh, mode of the market, the companies have changed their uh, their supply chain management as well. Now, if, if we uh, and apply or introduce more advanced tools in this process, it can also help the smaller retail business as well as the bigger retail business too. With changing time and demand, the companies are um, always trying to find out newer, newer solutions and much more advanced mechanisms of CMO models. And that, that, that was about all the differences so we have taken help from. And that's it. Thank you. Very good presentation by you all. Thank you.